Welcome, I am Bruce Maskell from Medifab, the manufacturer of Specsetic. And today, I'm going to show you how to get the best outcome for lateral trunk stability for a wheelchair user. For ensuring we get the best outcome for lateral support in the wheelchair, there's a number of steps we need to go through. The first one is getting the right bracket for the pad. With Specs, we have three options, fixed. Now this bracket is fixed, but it is adjustable in width and the depth of the pad is adjustable also. The second option is a swing away mechanism. The swing away mechanism, of course, swings away for ease of transfers. Now, unique to Specs is a barrel system which allows the lateral pad to lock in the desired position, whether it be nice and snug against the user or a little bit open. Now that is adjusted with these two silver cap screws which are locked up tight and ensure that lateral pad is going to close in that angle. The third option of brackets is the axial technology. Patented by Specs, this lateral allows the lateral pad to simply orientate wherever it's needed. Now, it's kind of like when you're trying to position the user with your hands and you're trying to get your laterals in that position, the axial lateral mechanism will allow that. And that is by means of these bar systems which allows the angle to be orientated and locked off in that position. Now that we've selected our lateral hardware, the next thing is to select the right pad. And we have three options with specs. So the first option is a straight pad. Nicely padded and the pad simply is straight. These are great for if the user wants to uh, lean forward out of the lateral support but still retain that nice support against the user's trunk. We also have a curved narrow option. Now the curved is nice and anatomical and it's got our patented natural lateral shape whereby the curve is always going to be in the position where the user is. Lastly, the broad. And the broad is simply what the name describes and it is a broad support surface. So if the user is pushing more weight against the lateral pad, the broad is a great option. When choosing the right size lateral pad, well, there's so many to choose from. As you can see here, here's a bunch of the broad lateral pads. And what I like about it is you can use just a little wee tiny pad for creating that really nice proximal support, especially if someone is leaning over, you can get the support in the right place. All the way through to a very large, broad support lateral pad. And this allows a broad area of support and gives that person that nice hug and support where required. Unique to the Specs lateral pad, behind the cover is a double slot with a little T-nut in here and that allows the lateral pad to slide on the lateral mechanism. Now that is so you can transfer from having more lateral support to sliding it forward and create some more anterior support around the user. So as you can see on this pad you can create this level of support just where it's needed. A great thing with using Specs laterals is you can mix and match. For example, you can have a broad lateral on the left and a narrow curved on the right. Now think of a typical scoliosis when you're trying to manage that within the posture of the wheelchair. So with the apex being here on the left, a typical um, the scoliosis on the left here bending over, a broad lateral support is best to use in that area. And a narrow curve is good to use on the opposite side and the upper area of the trunk and that helps give some correction and lift for the user's trunk. Now if you want to, you can also add a further lateral support down the pelvis area and I would recommend a narrow straight pad down on the pelvis and with the other combinations you're creating a great three point of lateral control for the user's posture and that gives a really great outcome. While we're talking about lateral pads, it's of note to mention the unique comfy cover available from Specs. Now the comfy cover is designed 
put the cover to wrap around over all the hardware that's uh, beside the user's arm. Now that padding creates that nice comfort but also allows a pull strap and a thumb loop for the user to pull and open the lateral pad themselves. This is a very unique pad available from Specs, and if you do have users who would like to remain independent in their wheelchair and to be able to open the lateral themselves, the comfy cover is your answer. So the third thing now is selecting, if necessary, the bracket extensions or the other way of mounting the lateral to the wheelchair. So if we do have a lot of build-up that we've created within the back support for some asymmetries or um, some different spine positions, we may need to have the 30mm extension. This bracket allows the lateral pad mechanism to be set forward by another 30mm. If we have an increased amount of support that's built up in the batteries, like you see here on the user's right hand side, we may need the deep contour adjustable bracket. Now this bracket has a 30mm back mount bracket plus a sliding plate which will basically means we can set that lateral pad in the right area when we're coming forward for increased support built up into the backrest, as you see here. Another option you may want to consider is our cane mount lateral mount. Now the cane mount simply mounts to the wheelchair cane. It doesn't mount to the backrest, which means the lateral is completely independent of the backrest. We have these available in both left and right side orientations. Another bracket available is the reinforcement plate. Now the reinforcement plate simply bolts onto the backrest shell and sandwiches the shell together with the lateral support, allowing a robust mounting um, of the lateral bracket for people who are going to move a lot or press against the lateral pad, the reinforcement plate would be recommended in those cases. Also available from the specs is a fully customizable lateral pad. We can simply customize the lateral pad to suit a lot of different users. So whether it be a different size, whether it be a different shape, whether it's more anterior support, whether you want a breast tissue cutout, whether you want a gel upgrade for a more supportive yet comfortable position on the inside, uh, pressure relieving upgrades also with uh, pressure relieving foams, and also fabric types. And with fabric types we have a number of different fabrics, including the glide wear option, which is an anti-shear surface for those who may rub the lateral pad and create a pressure wound. There are endless possibilities with the Specs lateral supports and you can get creative and use lateral supports for other different purposes. I've used lateral supports for, of course, lateral supports, also shoulder protraction supports, thigh supports, calf supports, and even up here for head supports. Specs lateral supports will give you the support that you need. Thank you for watching and we look forward to helping you further and getting the best lateral support option for you, your clients.